Hello loves, welcome back. So I'm going to be showing you how to finish your seams if you don't have a weaving machine or you don't know how to operate it. So this is the first method. Yeah, you will measure one inch. You place your fabric wrong sides together and measure one inch sewing allowance. You're also going to be dividing this one inch into two, making it half half inch. Now you go ahead to sew on the first half inch you have. And once you're done sewing, you will cut out the excess fabric allowance. After doing that, you're going to open up your fabric and then press it down with an iron, folding it and sewing another half inch to cover up the sewing allowance inside this makes a very clean finish i literally love this i use it for every single thing i make and i usually don't need to go to the market to operate to i don't need to go to the market for weaving you can see how flush is coming out you just press it if you don't like the allowance come flapping out you can just stitch it down here is a trouser i used it for and you can see how clean it looks i even used it for the crotch area and it came out perfectly all you need to give it is a good press and this is how it's going to look for the second method this is the tuck and stitch method yeah you'll be placing <laughs> you'll be placing your fabric right sides together marking one inch sewing allowance You take it to your machine, you stitch on that line. This method is actually good for people who don't have a problem with stitch sewing in front. You're going to see why. So once you're done sewing, you open up your fabric. You iron your seams flat out. Please use an iron. You will then begin folding in half inch allowance underneath the seam line. You also do the same thing for the other side. Like I said, this method is good for people who don't mind a stitch line in front of their fabric or their final piece. This method is good when you want to do like a fabric, a stitch decoration on your outfits. So this is how it's looking at the end of the day. You can see you don't need a weaving machine for anything. Now the final method is the buyer's banding. You measure, you place your fabrics right sides together and measure half inch allowance. I actually measured one inch, but I ended up using half inch instead. And you're going to take it to your sewing machine. Now, this method is actually good for those who, you can use it to finish your seams quite all right. But people who sew lace, use it to finish bulky seams. And our advice if you're doing this method, at the end of the day, use a larger bias. Don't use the regular one inch bias from the market go up to two inches so it can accommodate the excess bulk you see why how you do this is you place your seam allowance into the bias with an overlap on the bias then you then fold the overlap and then totally you will fold the whole bias into two Like I said, this is nice, but the sewing is crucial. You have to pay really, really good attention to it so that you make sure that your stitch is going through the second bias beneath because the bias tends to be slipping. So if you're doing this, I would advise you to use a wider bias or you just pay 
careful attention to what you're stitching. So this is how it's looking. I hope you're enjoying these tips and tricks on how to help your everyday sewing. If you like this or you have other suggestions of what you want me to show you, please don't forget to tell me. My contact is in the description.